This video is to educate and to demonstrate how to avoid straining your neck and back whenever you're mopping. We all mop. Let's talk about what we do wrong. When we're mopping, we're trying to get through the chore as quick as we can, all right? So what do we do? We take these big strokes with the mop, trying to cover as much surface area of the floor as we can. As we reach, you see my back? I'm bending at my waist, bending to reach out, and I'm bending at my back, which puts all that pressure at the small of your back. Another thing we do wrong when we're mopping is, of course, we need to rinse out the mop head occasionally. So we go, rinse out the mop head, and what do we do? We have to bend over to squeeze out the water of the mop head, or rinse it out however we need to, whatever mop style you have. But you have to bend at the back again, and you're craning your neck to look where you're going and what you're doing. Both those maneuvers put repetitive cumulative strain into the low back and to the neck. So how do we do it right? How do we avoid that? We avoid those long strokes when you're mopping. So you take shorter strokes like so. You see, I don't have to bend over. My neck doesn't have to look back to see what I'm mopping. And it's much easier on the neck and back. When it comes to rinsing out the mop head, I recommend that you take the bucket and we don't put the bucket on the floor. You have the bucket on something elevated, and that could be a countertop, it could be tabletop, or the best place is probably the kitchen sink. So when you have to rinse out your dirty mop head, it's up here, more at your waist level. Rinse out the head so you're ready to go. No bending at the back, no craning your neck. Problem solved. This is the best way to mop and to avoid a lot of strain into your neck and back.